Hi my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. And today's look is on this half stone, half crystal geode body paint makeup. And I'm calling it Don't Judge a Book by Its Cover. I love the concept in general, but I really believe that if you keep an open enough mind, then you can see a deeper, more beautiful layer to things. So if you want to learn how I did this technique, go ahead and keep on watching. I start off with a white eyeliner pencil and I map out the stone side and I begin to give it a 3D effect. With a little flat brush and water activated paint and gray, I fill in the stone side and I leave the little 3D portions blank. And then with a gray blackish eyeshadow, I start to contour my cheekbones, my collarbone, my neck, and my um, temples. Then with water activated paint and black, I use a little tiny liner brush and start painting on my cracks in the stone and go a little thicker in the center and then hairline them out. Uh, with a little practice, they get better and better. Then with that same brush and the black paint, I outline the 3D portion of the stone in black and then also go along the line of the upper rim and I make a nice little black line defining the two portions. Then fill those parts in with gray. This helps with any confusion on what's what. Then to add some texture to the stone, I use burlap and some white paint and just stamp it all over and then pat it out with your hand. Then with a medium fluffy brush and some darker gray eyeshadow, I just randomly swirl some further definition all over the stone. It kind of just looks more realistic. And with a liner brush and white water activated paint, add your little highlights to the top portions of the cracks. Then I take an angled brush and some black eyeshadow and I form a shadow up against the bottom portions of the crack. And I do this so the stone somewhat looks like it has motion. that same angled brush and the black eyeshadow, you're going to want to get really tight up against those 3D portions and pull a little of the eyeshadow downward. And like I say, stay tight on that little line and then pull it down. And then a smudger brush to kind of pull it even farther and, and blend it through. This is the exciting part because as you add these shadows, you start to see that it truly looks like the thickness is almost like a half inch and it's really popping off the skin. Super exciting to see kind of the illusion come about. And then along that upper rim only, highlight it with white. And see how I kind of added the line in just an ever so jagged little motion? Stone in general doesn't crumble perfectly and it doesn't crumble straight. It has like, you know, rocks in it and stuff. So it kind of crumbles in a, a funky old pattern. And then to further that realism look, add a little shadow up against that upper rim line. Okay, on to the crystal geode side. We're gonna take a split paint cake and load your flat brush and wiggle your brush just ever so gently to give it more of a realistic geode shape. And make those in different colors and different sizes all over kind of cascading on top and underneath each other. 
I fell in love with this concept. I bought these split cakes and I just wanted to test them out. And I ended up making this shape and I said to my husband, oh my God, this looks like a geode. So I ended up putting the crystals on it and I was like, oh my God, this is freaking so cool. I almost used this concept for my NYX face awards, but I decided to go with another concept and I'm working on it now, which I think is gonna be super cool. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, so anyway, with the um, purple and green and blue, I decided to make a super thick one. So I just butted a second row right up to the other one and it made it look, you know, like a super thick one. Then with an angled brush and black eyeshadow, I start forming the shadow that's cast from the stone above onto the geodes below. The thicker you make the shadow would mean that it's farther away than the geodes. If you make the shadow super thin, that means they're butted up to each other pretty tight. With gray water activated paint, you're gonna start forming the centers of the geodes and this is going to act as a little backing to all of your crystals that you're gonna lay down. When painting these on, make sure to do them somewhat of random thickness. That's how they grow in real life, um, you know, thick on one side and thin on another. While the gray centers dry, go ahead and take an angled brush and black eyeshadow and start forming a shadow that is cast from the geodes above onto the geodes beneath each one. I also add a shadow in between the geode and the gray portion that I had just laid down. This just kind of will de help define the um, crystal part. It'll make it stand out quite a bit. Then I take liquid latex and clear and lay it over the gray. Then with clear liquid latex, you put like a medium layer down over the gray um, and you wanna do it somewhat thick. Not too thick that it doesn't dry, but thick enough that it's gonna hold everything you wanna put down. And then with sugar cookie crystals, they look like little tiny geode crystals in blue and pink, I tap it all over the liquid latex, and then I take a little fan brush and some iridescent clear glitter, and I tap that on, and then I also, after, tap on some holographic silver. And with the big fluffy brush, I do continue to knock away all of the fallen glitter and just keep it in the areas that I want it. And then I also, after it somewhat dries, in certain areas I stack on a little tiny bit more of the clear latex and more of the crystals and more of the glitter. It just thickens it up in certain areas which makes it really realistic looking. And I'm so sorry, please pardon my bra strap that seems to have popped out. I'm not even sure how and why. Such a newbie thing to do. Freaking noob. I seriously give it up to the pro YouTubers. I mean, they have their shit together so freaking well. It's not even funny. I mean, for me, if it's like one thing's out of frame, one thing's out of focus, my bra strap pops out, I didn't get this, I didn't get that, somehow it got erased. I mean, geez, how do you guys do it? I'm getting better, but my God. I mean, it's no easy task, let me just tell you. But I've been loving every second of the challenge because it really does give me another avenue to be creative outside of the paint. So this YouTubing has been super fun. With a liner brush and gold powder and mixing liquid, I outline all of the crystal geodes. 
And then with the liner brush, I fill in all of the negative space with black. And then to move on to the face, I use that same three quarter of an inch brush and I pick in my nose, a crazy lady. Um, but I go double thickness on it and so I butt the two teal up so it has a purple outer rim on each side. Not that it matters, it was just kind of a random decision. And then I did a double thickness one um, of the orange and the green colors down on the chin line. Then fill in the negative space with black and then outline your geodes with the gold. Then for the eyes on the stone side, I fill in the under eye with the gray paint, the eyebrow with black, and then the jumbo eye pencil on the eyelid, blend it out into gunmetal from Urban Decay, and then um, NYX Loose Pigment in Magnetic on the brow bone and the inner corners. And I tap Makeup Geek's Corrupt Black Eyeshadow all over the lid, deepen up the socket a bit, and um, the lash line. With a little kind of dense, fluffy brush, I tap on NYX. Um, SFX cream paint super lightly to the cheekbone and to the collarbone and then I take the NYX loose pigment in magnetic and I highlight like crazy And then for the other eye on the crystal side, I just used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean in the center, kind of messy on the lid and blended it out and did several layers of that. And then used NYX Peacock Loose Pigment, which is my favorite, and stacked it on the lid, above the lid, and around the lash line. And Makeup Forever's uh, single shadow in uh, one of the pulls on the brow bone and then um, water activated paint in gray to outline where we're going to put the crystals. And for the lips on the stone side, I use NYX Stoned Fox. It's like perfect name. <laughs> and I put a little bit of Jeffree Star's Drug Lord in the center to highlight, which I freaking love that stuff. It makes any, and I'm talking any, lipstick look so pretty if you pat that little ombre in the center. Then for the other side of the lip, I use ColourPop matte liquid lip and zipper and NYX lip of the day liner in taboo on the corners don't forget your shadows and then off camera I added contact lenses from camoeyes.com then I add the liquid latex and the crystals and glitter to my face Staying away from putting any liquid latex on my eyebrow, so I just put it underneath and then tapped some glitter on the top and then just cleaned up all of the fallout and jumbo eye pencil in my waterline mascara and I put some lashes on off camera. Then for the finishing touch, the Glitter Faux Side Shave. And I learned this from my good friend on Instagram. She goes by Wink818. She's the cutest thing ever. You gotta check her page out. I picked this super cute gray wig to complement the stone side and um, I adjusted it with the glitter to make sure that poked through. And I'm all set.
Thank you guys so, so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe. I can't wait to share with you guys my NYX Space Awards submission. I'm really putting a lot of heart and soul into it. So until next time, you guys, I'll see you then.